Today we're going to show you how to use the Banner Ad Manager within the Joomla Core interface. There's basically three steps, uh, if you will, to the process. So under Components, you're just going to go to Banner, and there's basically three places. Banners is where you're actually going to manage the banners themselves. Clients is where you're actually going to set up clients in the system. And then Categories are the ad spots or the places where you want those ads to run. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do, let's take a look at categories real quick. So on this particular site we're using as a demonstration, there's several different categories. You've got a 300 by 250 box ad, a 728 by 90 leaderboard. You've got a 300 250 by box ad number two, number three, and number four. Okay. So as we after we load the client information in the banner ad, we can tell the banner to run either in this position, 728 by 90, or we can tell it to run in spot one, two, or three. It's very easy for you to go in there and, and actually create those and make those uh, changes. But in most cases, your web design team will have already set them up uh, for you. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is go under clients. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create a new client. It's actually very simple. Uh, simply type in uh, the test, the name of your client. So I'm just going to call this Ryan Dorn uh, Test uh, 23. The contact name, whatever the contact name of the person is. In this case, it would be me, Ryan Dorn. And then the contact email address. Also, you can uh, add any additional information that you want to over in this uh, particular area, and then you're simply going to, to click Save, okay? And that's how you're going to create a new client. The next thing you want to do is you're actually going to need to manage your banners. So where your banners are going to live is they're going to actually live inside the Media Manager. So let's go ahead and go Site, Media Manager, and let's click on the Banners folder, okay? So this is where you're going to load your banners into the system. So right now, what you would do is simply click Browse, and then go over and find the banner ad that you wanted to load into the system, and then you would simply click Start Upload, and that banner is then going to be placed right here in the Media Manager inside the Banners folder. Okay. Now, if you wanted to, you could do that step first if you wanted to, but I just happen to do it in this particular order, but it really doesn't matter. Okay. Now right, you're going to go to Components, Banner, and then you're going to go to Banners because you want to actually load a banner ad up. All right, And this is, you'll notice, we've got all of our banner ads listed. The ones with the red uh, little circle means that they're not published. The ones with the green check mark mean they are, means they are published. Okay. Now you'll notice here that it says, for example, for the Cleveland Marathon, here's the name of the banner, Okay, and the client, Cleveland Marathon. What type of ad, what categories are running in? It is currently published. Okay. And it's also showing the number of times that it's uh, that it's been displayed. So it's been displayed a um, hundred and fifteen thousand times. Okay, it's at hundred and fifty-five clicks at a click-through rate of 0.13 percent. Okay, and keep in mind the national average is typically 0.25. To load a new banner, simply click New. Okay, and then you're going to type the name of the banner here. Okay, we'll call it Ryan Test. 728 by 90. The alias, if you want to include some other information, you can. Show the banner, yes. Do you want it to be sticky? In this case, let's just choose no. There's no particular order that we want this to display, and we don't want it to be random, so leave that blank. Okay. Now we're going to select a category, meaning which spot do we want this to run in? We want this to run in the 728 by 90 leaderboard spot. Okay. Select the client. So we're going to go down, we're going to choose Ryan Test, or we can choose just, just choose ATP, just as an example. Okay. Now it's cho it's running right now unlimited, meaning from start to finish, it's just going to rotate with other people unlimited. If you wanted it to be displayed 500 times and then turned off, you'd simply put 500 here. After it's been displayed 500 times, it's just going to shut off. Okay. Then here in your click through URL, where's it going to click through to? If you have custom code, you can enter it here. Down here, banner uh, select the banner image that you want. Insert the width and the height. And that is it. Simply then go up to the top and click Save. And that's it. You'll be able to then go over to the website and take a look, refresh the page, and sure enough, there is the banner ad that we just loaded, and it's ready to be clicked on. It's as simple as that. I hope this makes sense. I hope this allows you to be able to upload banner ads all on your own through the Joomla Banner Ad Core Delivery System. I'm Ryan Dorn from Brainswell Media. Thanks so much, and best of luck.